Hey guys, the Heavy is a class that's just built differently than any other class in Battlefront 2. They have the best close-up weapons to easily win any gunfight, they have the explosives to easily take out a room, and they can destroy vehicles while they're sleeping. No class is more powerful and takes less skill for some of these jobs. But of course, that doesn't mean one bit that they're going to be easy to play. So today in this video, I'm going to be doing a full guide to the Heavy. In this video, we'll be going over weapons, their stats and modifications, then abilities and which ones you should be using, then on to star card loadouts with my personal, objective, vehicle, and trooper game mode loadouts, then finally some tips. If you end up enjoying this video, then make sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, then consider subscribing for more videos like this. The Heavy mainly specializes in up-close blasters except for one blaster that has a bit more range and like most other classes, the Heavy is a class with pretty much only two good weapons. So it's a class you need to grind a bit to get the best weapons. Of course, the best way to do that is to get kills in co-op. Now I'm going to be going into a lot of detail with these blasters, so if you don't care that much about blasters and you already know them, then you can skip ahead to the other stuff I'm talking about by looking at the timestamps on this video. The first blaster is of course the default blaster. This one is quite weak. It has a damage of 16 per shot to the body and 30 to the head, and it has a fire rate of 600 rounds per minute. So definitely not the best damage, but a decent fire rate. This is a weapon that you shouldn't ever really use after you unlock other blasters, since all the other blasters act pretty similarly in terms of fire rate, range, and cooldown, but with a bit more damage. The next blaster is the DC-15LE. This blaster is very similar to the default blaster, but with pretty much just a better rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute, allowing it to do more damage per second. So overall, better and good for the same situations, but there are much better blasters out there. For the mods, all of them are good, but the third one changes the fire to make it explosive, allowing it to go through blocks. So if you like the damage and fire rate of that mod, then use it, but if you don't like it, then the other mods will do fine. The third heavy blaster is the FWMB-10K. This blaster is another pretty weak one. It does 24 damage per shot to the body and 46 damage to the head, and it has a fire rate of 450 rounds per minute, which is slower than the other two blasters. This damage makes it to have just a slightly higher damage per second than the other blasters but it's still not a great amount of damage. So once again, you can definitely do better than this for blasters. As for playstyle, it's the same as the others. It's for close-up gunplay with a fast rate of fire, drop-off, and long cooldown. For the mods, auto-cooling is definitely the best because it just helps the blaster cool down faster, and night vision can help with aim a bit, but that's more preference and iron shot will do a bit more damage to vehicles, but less damage to everyone else. But now, getting into the really good blasters the Heavy has to offer, we have the TL-50. It acts just like all the other blasters with all similar characteristics, but of course with much better damage. It does 20 damage per shot to the body and 38 damage to the head, with 700 rounds per minute. This has a significant increase of damage per second to the other blasters. So out of the four Heavy blasters that all act the same, the TL-50 is definitely the best. For the mods, I recommend improved cooling and reduced spread. The secondary fire just isn't that good for this blaster, so I don't think it's quite worth it. The final and most unique blaster is the T21. This thing is absolutely beastly. It acts differently than all the other blasters, with a slow fire rate and good range. With a slow fire rate and good range, literally no drop off. If you have hit your shots, you can pretty much snipe with this blaster. It does 65 damage to the body, and 124 damage to the head per shot, which is actually insane. So just 3 shots to the body and any infantry except the heavy is dead and with just 2 headshots all infantry will be instantly dead. It has a fire rate of 180 rounds per minute, which is of course much lower than the other blasters. I'm not a big fan of improved handling since it lowers that damage, and I do recommend burst if you can get the aiming down. Since the burst will one shot all infantry except heavies if you hit all three shots. So work to unlock that, but it takes a bit more practice. So the heavy has some weak blasters, but two really good ones in the TL50 and the T21. But I think the T21 has a bit of a higher skill ceiling, 
and if you hit your shots, you will just outright do better. And if you're playing on a more long range map, then the T21 is definitely going to be the best. The Heavy is probably the best set of abilities of any class. There aren't really any abilities I don't recommend using, unlike most of the abilities for every other class. These abilities are meant for absolutely destroying things, infantry, and vehicles. The Heavy's default left ability is the Impact Grenade, a low damage grenade that will explode immediately. This is good for just doing quick damage. So if you come up against someone in a 1v1, you can throw this right at your enemy and you will get a big advantage in the fight. The other left abilities you can switch out with star cards are Improved Impact Grenade, Detonate Charge, which is a charge you can throw out in front of you and detonate at any time. It does a ton of damage to infantry so you can easily knock out an opponent with a quick throw and it also does a lot of damage to vehicles if you can get close enough. A good tip for it is to jump when you throw it since you can throw it farther. The last left ability is Ion Torpedo, which fires some missiles that lock onto vehicles and does heavy damage. This is one of the heaviest vehicle killers that are really good. Overall, I'd say Detonate Charge is the best ability and the most useful one, since it can be used well for any situation. The heavy's middle ability is the Sentry. This brings out a minigun that is extremely powerful. It absolutely melts anything that can lose health in Battlefront 2, and it will immediately regen your health. The issue with it is that you have very little mobility and no sensitivity, so if you're not looking right at the enemy, they can easily kill you. The sentry changes are for supercharged sentry, which is sentry that is a more explosive, so it can go through lightsaber blocks among being useful in other situations. The other improvements are mobile sentry, which gives you more speed with the sentry, but less damage. This one is pretty useless for a star card because rarely will the extra little bit of mobility help you out and it does less damage. And the last improvement is Explosive Sentry, which has a high explosive mode with a slow fire rate. So basically it does more damage to vehicles but it becomes harder to deal with infantry. I definitely think Supercharged Sentry is the best since the others aren't just that useful. Now onto the right ability we have the Combat Shield. This is a small shield that covers the front of the heavy's upper body, blocking any blaster shots that hit the shield. The shield does slow you down so you're pretty vulnerable from the sides when you use this ability. It's a pretty strong ability. The right ability replacements are the improved combat shield, which fires out three low damage explosives, and ion turret, which locks onto vehicles and sends out ion missiles which do heavy damage to vehicles. I think both the combat shield and barrage are really good and the ion turret is really good for damaging vehicles. Because the heavy has multiple similar abilities, it makes it so that there aren't any specific best loadouts most of the time, and it's hard to create different loadouts for each playstyle. But I'm going to be going over my personal loadout, the best objective loadout vehicle, and super loadouts. So first for my personal loadout, it's a great all around loadout, and it's something I change out all the time from life to life depending on what I want to do, but my base cards are Detonate Charge, Improved Combat Shield, and Bounty Hunter. It gives some very solid abilities that are good at any time, and Bounty Hunter for those super useful extra bounty points. The next loadout I'm going to be going over since it's so similar to my personal loadout is the Tuber loadout. This is designed for game modes like Strike and Blast, or if you're mainly focusing on fighting other infantry in large scale game modes. That is, if you're not playing the objective or destroying vehicles, which is pretty much how I play the game as infantry already. So I've improved Shield, which helps out a lot in 1v1s, Detonate Charge, which is once again always going to be great, and then Bodyguard. This gives you damage reduction when you go down to low health, which helps a lot and makes you really hard to kill. So of course, it fits in perfectly with this playstyle. The third loadout is the objective loadout. This loadout is designed to help you defend and attack objectives. The first card is Detonate Charge, again. Then for the right ability, I like Barrage. It's great for clearing out rooms with the multiple grenades, which is always super useful to do, so when defending or attacking an objective. The last card is Resourceful which shortens the cooldown of your abilities, allowing you to repeatedly be using those super helpful sentries, detonate charges, and barrages to, to attack and defend the objectives. The last loadout is the vehicle loadout. These cards are simply just to help you destroy vehicles as quickly as possible. The left and right abilities should be ion torpedoes and ion turret. Both of these abilities do load of damage against vehicles. Then for the last card, I like supercharged sentry. 
since the damage of it against vehicles is pretty insane. If you deploy these three abilities all together, it's quite impressive the amount of damage you can easily do. In my opinion, those are the four best loadouts for the heavy. Of course, you can mix and match them to make it perfect for yourself, which is easier to do with the heavy than any other class. The one thing I personally do not recommend is a sentry card, since the original sentry is already really good and none of the improvements really make it that much better compared to other boost cards you can be running, which will help you out a ton more. The last thing I'm going to be going over is my tips for playing the heavy. The first thing is to make sure you're constantly using your abilities and changing them for each scenario. The heavy has a really good lineup so there's no reason not to be using these abilities. So if you pay attention to your star cards, you will do a lot better. For the heavy, you also need to be playing really aggressively. You want to be up close on the front lines of the objective, which is easily where you will do the best. And it's really hard to do very good from anywhere else. For pretty much any class, playing up close is good, but they don't constantly need to be on the front lines. The assault has long range weapons, the officer can support from the back, and the specialist has snipers. But that is actually all my main tips. It's hard to give specific tips for a class that isn't very unique, and anything else would just be repeating stuff I've said. But I think those two tips really sum up how you need to play the heavy. But that is all for my heavy guide. The heavy is a great class that you can have some serious fun with. It's also probably the easiest class to pick up, so you should be dominating in no time. Thanks for watching this video, especially to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was worth your time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.